So let's look at uh, Unit 4 of Module 6, Ownership, Transfer, and Succession in Family Business. Succession plan uh, involves uh, deciding who will lead the company in the following generation after the exit of the present management and ownership. There are stasis in, in succession plan. There is initiation where the owner, the next leader, should be invited, or maybe a bunch of them will be invited to be initiated into the, the secrets of the family business. There is a selection. That's the point to decide who among these possible successors, successors will now be the one to take over. There is education. That trying to lecture the person on different aspects of the business and the real secrets of the family business. Then there is the issue of finance, where you transfer the signatories to the account. The person has to have knowledge, know where all the, where all the monies are, are placed or hidden. Then there is preparation for the handover. And there is uh, the transition. But even all these stages of handover, they are very clear, they are very distinct, but every single aspect of it can pose a serious problem for the successor. In fact, you know, sometimes it's when the exit is sudden that uh, there is crisis. But even when the exit of the owner is not sudden. Sometimes when he does his selection, conflict will arise. Uh, we have noticed too, uh, at least, you know, I have seen in some uh, family businesses, uh, it's a nuclear family business. And when the succession comes, you know, there was a very huge division between the father and a particular son, and the mother, and the favorite son, in terms of who takes over. The father wanted the perpetuation of the family business and the family, the survival of the business. But the mother wanted to play with the emotions. She cited her, her first son, whom she has been grooming, to be uh, the, the, the uh, next head of the family and head of the organization. But when this did not work out well, the, the way each one of them you know, was planning, there was serious conflict. In fact, without uh, mentioning them, you know, the, 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 the owner of the business died suddenly. And uh, the mother and the son who wanted to take over the business landed in court. And I believe the court matter is still on and affecting the businesses. So even the succession plan, you know, is still a, a delicate thing because the family can be together. There, you see, is a cohesive uh, environment. They are happy family. And once money is involved and the issue of control and who takes over the control, uh, the, a, a serious complication, you know, enters. But uh, where there is a, uh, a plan, initial strategic plan for the organization, when the business is booming, 
when the owner of business is still up and doing it's good that as at the first stage of bringing people inside the organization be their family members and that line of succession should be made clear before it gets uh, complicated in conclusion i will say in that succession is a difficult decision when how to whom to pass on leadership succession to second generation can cause feeling an uneasy feeling even for the owner of the business it is prone to conflict that is critical to plan well ahead before it becomes imperative due to the owner's illness or untimely death. I will stop here for now.